performance? Oh, this is on a- a- NBC. What performance was that? And I think, by the way, I think at, oh, the, time, the-, at the time oh, she was, you can ask, at the time that was like 50, 50 something. No, <laughs> but what performance was it? I'm not, that was from the, uh, I think that was the Hard Candy Tour. Okay. But, well, let me let me double check for sure. That was, that I was think Madonna's. that was a Super Bowl or something. Or- no, no, that wasn't Super Bowl. That that was the Confessions Tour, two thousand six. Madonna was was already it aired on TV. So that was two thousand six. So what's what's wait, I can't do math, but okay. hold on. Let me ask how old Madonna was two thousand six. How old was? Hey Madonna? Google, how old was Madonna in two thousand and six? She was uh forty eight. That was forty eight years old. She was going 40, ham, ham, ham. She. I mean, that's like. I won't say what it's like. <laughs> so that, that, yeah, Madonna's an amazing performer. So you know. Anyway, so, happy birthday! birthday. But what, are we, what we're getting at is happy birthday, Madonna. You're an icon. Happy birthday! <laughs> happy birthday, Madonna. You're an icon. We're happy. To, we're hopeful that your health is back together and that you will be back on tour soon. We're excited. Obviously, we're excited for you to be on tour with Madonna, Bob. Um, and so, yeah, super excited about that. We'll 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 await any news. With beta terribly tour. well, the, well, they, they're already new. The, the tour has already been officially rerouted. All of the dates were rerouted. If you had a ticket, uh, your your new ticket has been you're shit uh, out of luck. No, your, your new ticket has been <laughs> sent to your email. So there it is through a sneaky link on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have been watching. Um, a show called Stars on Mars. <laughs> okay. It's a show called Stars on Mars, and it um, is wild. It's about a bunch. It's a reality competition show where a bunch of celebrities uh, are go to Mars. Got it. Go to Mars, but not really Mars. It's like somewhere in the desert. And Thanks for clearing that up. That they didn't actually <laughs> ship celebrities to Mars. Thank. Because I was worried they were going to send Tom. But hey, the, the premise is that they're all on Mars and they have to like do these challenges and tasks. And at the end of the challenge, whoever was the worst at it gets booted, basically. So it's like Survivor of Mars or whatever. Um, but uh, Lance Armstrong is one of the celebrities that's on there. Oh, word. And he, uh, for those of you that don't remember the early 2000s, Lance Armstrong was the... Uh, uh, Olympic level well, professional uh, bi- cycle bicyclist cyclist who I think he competed in at the Olympic level. I don't really know. I, I don't really. Know. Thing I was he, he won the Tour de France. He won the Tour he... de France. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So he uh, award winning um, top cyclist and uh, had a um, live strong. Uh, live strong organization, which was the first time I'd ever really seen those um, sort of um, rubber. Uh, silicone bracelets. It was like a yellow one. His was the yellow one, but now they have them all different colors. Uh, so he created the Livestrong Network, with it, which was this charity. And then it came, then he was accused of doping using well, performance. Well, before we go too far, we should talk about the big impact that he had was was on uh, oh, no. with, with it, people with testicular, testicular cancer. cancer. He had way, testicular cancer and that was the way, it. at every age, if you are a person who has testicles, you need to be checking them for lumps. At every single A. This is not a thing for old people. It's not a thing for young people. It is that it can affect you at any age. Tom Green was another person who had testicular cancer uh, at, a, at a pretty young age as well. Um, and also breast cancer at every age, at every sex, sexual uh, orientation, at every gender identity, you can have breast cancer. Breast cancer is not just for men, women, cis women, cis men, trans men. Everyone can get breast cancer. So you need to be checking your chest for lumps and checking your testicles for lumps. Even if you are a trans man who's had top surgery, a top surgery does not a double mastectomy make. You can still get breast cancer. Check your body for lumps all the time. Anyway, thank you for coming up to my um my PSA, <laughs> my TED talk. Uh, yeah, it's important. Everybody check yourselves. Well, uh, I wish that Lance Armstrong had checked himself because um, on this what show, what do you do? On this show, he, out of the blue, of all the things that Lance Armstrong could have, like, asserted, out of the blue, I'm not saying 
And I, 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 of course, I wasn't there. This is an edited show, so we have to give him what credit did he there. Say? I don't really know what happened beforehand, but all of a sudden, Lance, Ar- Lams, Lance Armstrong made the decision to, to, to stop the conversation and tell everyone that he disagreed with transgender people in sports, and he thought that transgender people, trans women in women's sports, he didn't use that term. Uh, what did he say? Uh, he, I think he just said trans in sports. Also, okay, just for everyone out there listening, I, I made a, a TikTok about this. But I just want to say two things real quick. Transgender is not a noun. You cannot meet a transgender. Transgender is an adjective. Think of the word pretty or the word tall. You can't say, I met a pretty today. I met a tall today. You can say it. Are, you can say it, but you'll sound uh, stupid. It is just like you said when you say, I met a transgender. I met a transgender woman. And also trans works the same. Trans is just a shortened version of transgender. So you can't say I met a trans. And also here's one that's going to really blow y'all's minds. Male and female are not nouns. Male and female are also adjectives. So you cannot be a male. You can be male. You cannot be a female. You can be female, but you cannot be a female. That's not how those things work. Anyway, that's just me. Anyone who knows me knows that I love semantics. Let's get into this chat. <laughs> Anyone who knows me knows that I love semantics, and that is one of the semantics I will die on a hill on. How are you going to well, tell, uh, how is a female going to tell me as a female? <laughs> how how a female, when you a whole, a whole female, you, you a female, you a whole free okay, <laughs> That's how they sound. Were you a whole female? What, what, is this all suddenly? Was this Bill Cosby? Is that Fat Albert? <laughs> Were you a whole ass female? You can hear the. And let me tell you right now, this is triggering to me. Hold on. <laughs> oh God. Oh Lord. Whenever a cis straight man has one, if you go to a cis straight man's house and he has one of these. Leave. Leave immediately. Oh, my God. You listen, are not lying. Listen First of all, me. what mic are you using if it's not that one? I, don't, I said, if, no, listen. GGT can have these. Girls, gays, and they's can have these. If you go to a cis straight man's house and you And he see, has one of those. I agree. Run. Anywhere in the Run. House, when I tell First you, of all, there's probably a hidden camera somewhere. Baby. That's the first time thing. to run because this. Baby. No, no, more, no more straight niggas with podcasts. No more podcasts. No more of this. <laughs> oh, God, don't, what are we doing? Don't stay in the house. It's true. You are going to end up in some Andrew Tate video. Okay. So he was adamant about letting informing everybody that he doesn't, didn't agree with it. He thought that trans in sport is cheating and that uh, it's using performance-enhancing drugs and it gives an unfair advantage. And I just thought back to myself. After of all the things that Lance could have been known for in his legacy, being a brilliant cyclist, probably one of the best cyclists on record in from America. The Michael Jordan of cycling, really. Yeah, uh, undergoing and having a very public battle with testicular cancer. He already had his own blunder. The controversy with Lance Armstrong, for those of you that don't also remember and know, is that he was accused of using perform doping and using performance enhancing drugs and in danger of having his title stripped. I think he might have had, I don't really know, uh, you know, his record and title stripped because it was he was accused of using steroids or something uh, in order to enhance his win. So this like lightning fast speed that he was getting was under question. Um and so his status as the Michael Jordan of cycling was in question because he was accused of, and I think that they came to a conclusion. I think he was busted. Wait, can I say one thing real quick? Sorry, well, someone in the chat is like, just so you, just so you know, Marion Webster says that male is an as an as a noun. Male is male and female are only used as nouns for plants and animals. When it comes to human beings, it is an adjective. So check yourself before you wreck yourself, honey. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, well, Lance was also sued by the U.S. government for $100 million for fraud. Yeah, because of, I think the Live Strong Network also had a little something, 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 something going on. Anyway, so the point is, 
for someone who's been accused of uh, doping and using performance enhancing drugs, and if it was, I don't know if it was, if it was um, ster- like steroids, um, it's just very rich for that person to come into the debate and try to throw trans people under the bus, talking about now all of a sudden he's a purist when it comes to sports and that um, he doesn't agree with, uh, you know, doping in sports. Maybe he does have a leg to stand on with it, but I just think it was un- uncalled for. And he would he went to bat with some of the people that were in the house. There weren't any trans people in the house as far as I know, but these are all celebrities that are well-known. And th- many of them who were saying, this is not your argument. We don't want to get into this conversation right now. And it feels kind of unfair to be like talking about trans people. Nobody's here to defend themselves. So they were like, trans people are like, you know, why are you? 